when I'm choosing flowers for the corsage, what do I need to know about flower variety? Well, we have several top varieties. The thing that you most want to be concerned about is that the flowers that you choose for the corsage has some stabili stability or durability. Some of our top flowers for, for corsage choices, of course, is the traditional rose. Okay. Because it's always popular and it is traditional, it's well known, and roses are loved by many people. The other would be the Dendrobium orchid, and these come in whites, they come in purples, um, they come in some kind of blush pink shades, and the roses of course come in a myriad of colors, I mean from everything from white to pink to lavender. These seem a little smaller than your typical rose. Very good that you asked that. These are spray roses, and, and actually this pink corsage as well is... Um, spray roses oh, also okay. but now this is a little slightly different okay. these are more closed and this is what we call our garden variety where it looks more like an open climber rose that kind of feel oh, that's so yeah, they come and the larger roses as well come in those different shapes and petal counts some of the flowers look fuller and more open and um, that's due to they have a higher volume of petal count to them okay. another very popular one of course is always the mini calla mm -hmm because that's very contemporary looking. Yes. And then the Cymbidium orchids, because these hold up so well and they have a nice drama to them because of the large, you know, just a few flowers and the shape. And these come in multiple colors as well. They come in the white, a beautiful chartreuse green, golds, pinks, lavender. Really a unique rose. That's massage. a combination of a, almost a, a, a blush peach and a very pale pink rose. So that there's kind of a, a harmony of color in there rather than just being monochromatic. It's a very good choice because this is a dendrobium orchid. Okay. It's a sturdy flower. Okay. And um, yet it also also has an ambiance of being lightweight looking, and delicate, uh, delicate, and it has a pretty What's shape. What's new in um, fashion for prom floral design? Oh, I'll tell you, prom corsages have really taken a rise. We used to do everything on this elastic band. That's what I had. Or we had Velcro bands or little pla <laughs> The older bands even used to be plastic. Now we have all these fabulous new things, all these beaded that actually look like bracelets and oh, wow. jewelry because everyone wants something upgraded. I mean, we have these, the pearled ones okay. in, in like licorice, vanilla, and sugar. And then we have this one who's called the rock star. And we have the fabulous cuffs. I mean, because cuffs are always a, a very popular bracelet. And yes, this one that you have over here has the flowers on so that you can actually see the cuff. And then you can see the flowers on the cuff. And everything just sits on top of that. And it nice and securely fits on the wrist so that it'll stay snug. Oh, wow. We go into additions like the rhinestones, different textures and styles of ribbons, different foliages, and you know, we, we bling these corsages up almost as much as a TV star. These are wonderful. And a keepsake, so they just cut off the flowers off the back and then they can wear it every day. Yes, the keepsake on the bracelet, they can just trim the flowers off when the flowers fade after the prom and they can keep the bracelet as a memento. Oh, wonderful. So I see here you have an example of some of the the different rhinestones that I can get in the corsages. So how do I pick there are so many options what I want to go in the corsage. Once we have the color of the dress, we get a feel for the flower texture you want and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll talk about adding the beads and what kind of a wrist that you want, but to some degree, because we have such a talented staff of designers here, you have to entrust to them some of the special touches as far as finishing off the corsage and putting it together to have the most successful complement for the young lady when it's finished. So it is 
a piece of artwork. So trusting the artist, I guess, would be my best bet. Absolutely. What the boys' boutonnieres? What is hot and Everyone fashion. wants style or a little twist or a little panache. Yes, that's a good one to talk about first because this is what we would call a composite boutonniere. And it has the orchids in, plus it has some um, what we would call ever-blooming garden type flowers in. So it's just a mix of minuscule flowers like this one in particular has a little bit of heather with it. This one has a little bit of hypericum berry. So oh, wow. we, we add these touches of, you know, garden bloom to it to soften it up. And you can see we can go from a, 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 an array of colors here. I mean, I even have something in yellow. Oh, and with, with rhinestones in it. Ah, yes. That one's embellished with some uh, rhinestones right in the center just to give a little bit bigger spark when the light hits it. And I noticed this plant's sort of feathery looking. Do you ever put feathers in the chrysalis? Sometimes we or use feathers, things? we use colored wires, we use all kinds of beads, okay. um, sometimes little grasses, different types of foliages. So there's a vast variety of things that the general. So, as you know, prom day, hectic. We're doing hair and makeup and running around. How early can I get this corsage, boutonniere, whatever I'm picking up, and keep it fresh? Well, feasibly, if the prom is on Saturday night, you could get it on Friday, but we really um, kind of project that you get it the day of. Okay. Because our coolers stay at a different temperature than a home refrigerator, so they're optimally better in our cooler environment in the floor shop than they would be. Do you be ever deliver? Yes, we deliver them all. We have a special delivery charge of $5 to all of our servicing areas. So we cover all the we can take your corsage from Duluth to downtown Atlanta. So that really saves me a trip and I don't even have to worry about That's coming right. in. That's excellent. Well, Michael, this is nothing like when I ordered prom, uh, prom flowers when I was in high school. This is like a work of art. So I really can't wait to order flowers. It's a wonderful variety of of flowers, of of the bling, of uh, just really unique art pieces. So I'm looking forward to coming to Carruthers to order my flowers this year. Thanks for telling me about everything that you have. Great, we'll be glad to help you. Thanks so much.